Okay, now we're going to be expanding brackets. And uh, if you want to skip forward, the second half of this video is expanding and simplifying where we've got brackets. So the first example here, um, we can't do x plus 2 because using bid mass, we should do brackets first, but I can't do that because I don't know what x is. So the next thing that I can possibly do is multiplication. And what this means is every term inside the bracket needs to be multiplied by whatever is outside the bracket. So in this case, 3 times x gives me 3x. And then 3 times 2 gives me 6. And it's a plus 6. This is a positive 3. And that's a positive 2. The next example, I've got x times x. Now, we should know that using our powers, we can simplify that to x squared and then x times 7 both positive plus 7 x the last example i've got two lots of x times 4 so i can do the 2 times 4 which gives me oops doesn't give me 8 gives me uh 6 rather it gives me 8x and then lastly, 2x times 3x. So again, I can do the 2 and the 3. I can multiply those together. They're all positive. So that gives me 6. And then the x times the x would give me x squared. Now, I cannot simplify this. x terms and x squared terms are not like terms. So as I did here, we have to leave these separate. That is as simple as that expression gets. Moving on to some trickier ones. 2x um, here, 2 times x. And I'd recommend you do this. You expand each bracket and then simplify at the end. 2 lots of 1 gives me 2. Then I've got plus 4 times x. So that will be 4x. And then I've got plus 4 times 3, which is 12. Now I can gather my like terms. So I've got 2x and then another positive 4x there. So that simplifies to 6x. And then plus 2, plus 12, plus 14. So that is my simplified answer. For the next one, again, expand the brackets one at a time. Take your time, less likely to make mistakes. 3 times x is 3x. Now I've got a negative term, 3 times negative 2, positive times a negative would give me a negative 6. Now I've got negative 2 times x, negative 2 lots of x. And then this last part here, which is where the most mistakes are made, negative 2 times negative 1. If the signs are the same, then the answer is going to be positive. So that gives me plus 2. Now I'm going to simplify this, again, gathering like terms. I've got 3x minus 2x. Important that we circle the sign as well. So that leaves me just with 1x. And then negative 2, uh, sorry, negative 6 plus 2. That is going to give me negative 4. So again, important we know how to work with negative numbers to get the correct answer. Any questions, please let me know.